Hey everyone, in this video, I will break down step-by-step -step on how to maximize your Sundays so you can have a great head start to your new week. You don't wanna miss. Sunday may seem like an overwhelming day. However, if you plan, it won't. I start off first by checking off with my highlighter, my to-do list. I wrote a to-do list of things that I wanted to accomplish for Sunday specifically, and I'm getting those things done today in the video. Sundays will go a whole lot smoother in the stress-free process if you plan. I promise you. So please plan your day. Before our task, we need fuel. We need coffee, food, or energy drink. Grab those so we can get these things done. Hello, can I have two tomato and mozzarella pesto? Tomato and mozzarella? And a grande caramel uh, ribbon crunch with a shot of espresso and almond milk, no whipped cream, and extra, like a caramel drizzle around the rim. And that's it. Okay. Okay, everything looks good. Awesome, can I have your name? Erica. Okay, Erica, I'll see you there. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Mm. 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 Yes. Y'all, I've been on this iced coffee kick for a minute. Tomato mozzarella. Bomb. A lot of people don't know about that on the Starbucks menu, but it's so good. Let me get going. But anyways, we're about to be on our way to. We made it to Trader Joe's. weekly grocery shopping it is the best decision i have ever made monthly shopping two weeks shopping i'm overspending i'm over the budget weekly is perfect and it sets a system where you're actually eating what you're paying for and you're not wasting and who wants to waste in an economy like this because groceries are too expensive to be throwing them away okay so weekly grocery shopping amazing do it on sundays or a weekday when it's not too busy where you feel comfortable to romanticize your grocery trips and actually get the food that you're going to give your body the nutrients yeah we're back in the car i'm about to go into sephora to go grab these dennis gross pads um, and some polished choice so i can get my skin back clear I purposely think the S in self-care is meant for Sundays. Like, why not take care of yourself so that you can be mentally and physically ready for the week? And that is why this is a huge step in our Sunday reset routine and how we're going to be able to get a head start for the week. You need to start putting yourself first. Y'all, look at all these groceries. Like I said, I have the tulips. Y'all know I love tulips. I love white flowers. And I finally found the stacked eucalyptus. Y'all see me get flowers for myself like all the time. But I just have to do it. Like I have to have flowers for myself every week. Or I just don't feel like, like I'm taking care of myself all the way. I always give myself the most nicest things. Super nice things. And 
when someone comes into my life as like my partner like he knows like okay this is the standards this is the requirements like i already get myself flowers a week so every day like flowers every week so what can you do like can you double that triple that quadruple that this is gonna go in my bathroom it's gonna look so cute all right so i hung it up and make sure it has these ladders okay so now that we're home i'm gonna set my tulips up i'm gonna add some ice and some cold water so they can last longer and now it's time to put away the groceries immediately when you get home make sure to put away the groceries so that you can get it over with in this process that i'm going to be cleaning as well at the same time i'm going to be putting in new food and taking out old food and also don't forget to leave out the night's dinner i'm going to thaw it out in the refrigerator as well So there is absolutely no Sunday without not cleaning. Every Sunday we're cleaning, you cleaning, I'm cleaning, I'm vacuuming, I'm doing the laundry, I'm cleaning the bathroom, I'm organizing, I'm throwing the trash out. And honestly, a clean space really does equal a clear headspace. And that's what we're doing as we're going into the new week. So definitely cleaning should definitely be top two and it's not two. So throughout the week, I use those days as my straighten up week. And then during Sundays, these are my deep cleaning days. So I take this day and I truly go all in. I clean my sheets, I vacuum, I mop, I get into all the nicks and crannies. And this just sets me up for an even more productive week because everything's clean. And that way I don't have to be in clutter. All right, so now it's time to clean the bathroom. The bathroom is a mess. I'm definitely not the person to live and work into this messy environment, so we're definitely about to clean it up. I got my espresso from Starbucks. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling groovy. I'm feeling in the clean mode. I'm about to go ahead and check that off of my planner. Plan Bella and on our calendar is today and I'm just going to check off vacuum because I did that and I wash my sheets as well. <laughs> As girls, we know our bathroom can get messy. We get ready in there. We do our body care in there. We do our skin care in there. We do our oil hygiene in there. And Sunday is just a new way to just reset, clean up the counters, clean off your products. And to be honest, who doesn't love a clean bathroom? We are constantly in the bathroom all the time and the bathroom has the most bacteria. So honestly, if we don't do anything this Sunday routine, we need to clean the bathroom. That's the bathtub, that's the countertops, that's wiping off our spit wall on the mirror, that's cleaning the toilet, getting in the back of the toilet, mopping, sweeping, cleaning, just all that just because the bathroom is really important and honestly where we spend our morning. Okay, so my favorite part on Sunday honestly has to be the cooking. Like, making dinner for yourself on Sunday is really a part of not only self-care, but you're taking care of your body, you're taking care of your mindset, and you're taking care of your pockets. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make some Brussels sprouts with some Argentinian shrimp and girl. These Brussels sprouts was brussling. They were so good, and I'm going to go pick me up some more, and they were so crispy. 
by the way i love to clean my vegetables i love to clean my fruit because you know we have so much going on with this world and recalling on vegetables and recalling on products that we need to make sure that we clean the food before we put it in our body so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut up my brussels sprouts and i use some avocado oil y'all i just got on to avocado like i just been put on so good best decision ever you know i'm gonna season my stuff real good i don't care if it's vegetables i don't care if it's not vegetables seasoned is what it is seasoned in this household okay so i'm just seasoning my brussels sprouts and i also cut them in um in half so they can absorb the seasonings when they are roasted i mix all of the seasonings together and now that's going into the oven and now let's focus on our shrimp i devein my shrimp and i will clean them with cold water i add my seasons again i just love really good seasoned food so now i'm going to be using the air fryer to cook my shrimp i'm just going to go ahead and press the pre-made button and now our food is done ding ding i got our shrimp and our brussels sprouts so good so good for a sunday and now it's time to wind down and just relax and just reflect on the day and how we have accomplished so much on our sunday and how we're about to have a great week thank y'all so much for watching be sure to like comment subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in another one bye one